Hey, it's Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. I'm here at Together Health, and joining me right now, I have Paul Reiser, who I'm mad about. <laughs> Got it. I love it. Um, he is the managing director for Tech Town Detroit. So, Paul, good to have yes, you here. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Glad to be at HIMSS. Okay, so introduce Tech Town Detroit to everybody. What are you guys doing over there? I heard you're the trifecta, accelerator, incubator, and co-working space, right? Yeah, right. absolutely. Surprisingly, Tech Town's been around for about 20 years. Uh, we've been in a physical location for about 15 years. We are an incubator, accelerator, and co-working space, so that's the trifecta, um, based or created uh, from Henry Ford Health Systems, Wayne State University, and General Motors. So All right, very cool. Unique. Now, are you guys focused solely on healthcare, or do you guys, other, do you guys have other stuff going on there? We are actually industry agnostic, but we found some interesting kind of characteristics in the Detroit region and also the southwestern Ontario region that really kind of pulled us into the healthcare space. And I've been leading an effort for the last three and a half years. So TechTown in general focuses on a variety of early stage and growth stage startups. Okay. And we also do place-based entrepreneurship support, so like lifestyle businesses as well. But healthcare has really evolved as a sweet spot for us. All right, talk a little bit more about that. So it's evolved as a sweet spot. You you mentioned in there Canada, which is like literally like over the bridge. So tell me a little bit about what you've got your eye on there, because that's a pretty interesting market for healthcare. Yeah, absolutely. Lo and behold, about five years ago, we started with an initiative called Hacking Health, which was a more traditional kind of bottom-up hackathon that started in Canada. We okay. delivered the first in Detroit. And what we realized was there's this wealth of partners and people who are really interested in breakthrough technologies and getting startups and payers and providers together in healthcare. And the momentum and the energy and the passion from that, I decided to try to build on that momentum. And that's what the MedHealth Summit and the MedHealth Cluster kind of evolved from. Okay. So MedHealth is a regional consortium, a collaboration of ecosystem providers, payers, providers, economic development agencies, incubators, accelerators, investors, the like, who are all working collaboratively in southwestern Ontario and southeastern Michigan and across the state of Michigan. Okay, so going back and forth across the border, too. Yeah, absolutely. We are, like you said, we're probably about... Um touch points about 20 minutes away from some of our partners right over in Essex County and Windsor, Ontario. So it's close. All right, very cool. So give us a little bit of a, a, a talk through of what kinds of startups you have, it's particularly in the health tech piece that you've carved out. Yeah, absolutely. We see a lot in the medical device space okay. and also the digital health space as well because of the explosion in digital health. On the med device space, uh, we really are trying to play upon some of the engineering and some of those research and R&D skills that we have because of the automotive background right. and the translation of those skill sets and characteristics is kind of a natural play for us. And so when we went through that automotive challenges and the economic challenges in the city of Detroit, one of the things that I looked at was what are the traits and what are the characteristics that could be easily translated um, so that we don't find ourselves maybe in the same position. How do we diversify our economy a bit? And MedDevice was, lo and behold, you know, over and over uh, resoundingly stated as an opportunity for our region uh, for some of those automotive, not only engineers, but researchers and even suppliers yeah. when they wanted to diversify. And so tr kind of combining that with the digital health aspect is how we landed where we are. That's really smart because I think there's a lot of cities that ha used to have a strong manufacturing base that no longer have that, but they've got the talent that's still there. In healthcare, I mean, $3 trillion industry, there's got to be something for them to do, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we are even exploring, so a, a lot of focus in the city of Detroit for those very same reasons is mobility focus. So mobility is like a huge play and focus in the state of Michigan. Meaning what? Meaning uh, how do you move people, things, okay. um, cars, transportation. intelligent transportation, okay. autonomous vehicles um, between A and B in order to deliver value for um, both uh, individuals, consumers, and also providers. All right, I've got to ask about the, the pro with your proximity to Canada, I'm really curious. So it's like, okay, so we've we've been seeing quite a few CBD companies, cannabis companies, yeah. it's startups in healthcare, not a lot, but I'm just curious about that because I, I know earlier, I think it was er like late last year, the Canadian government launched th yes. their full on support. For, I'm sure you were. <laughs> and so I'm curious, no, I mean, being right there based in yeah. the US, I mean, and, and you're literally over the bridge from Canada, Canada. So, I mean, like, are, are you guys, are you seeing or are you helping grow any cannabis or CBD focused startups in the healthcare space? We are actually, and uh, we actually partnered with two large companies, one called Afria Health okay. and one called Green Shield. So Afria is on more so the production kind of side and Green Shield is on the insurance side. And they stepped up actually and sponsored our last year's Hacking Health because they really wanted to source innovation.
innovation and startup engagement and new ideas and solutions from the innovation community. So we delivered that last year and, and really in unison with what you talked about, kind of the advent and explosion of the um, you know um, uh, cannabis market right. in Canada. And so we've got startups. One that comes to mind is a great uh, startup uh, by the name of Audacia, who is actually developing a device for uh, testing a breathalyzer almost oh. like, but for cannabis okay. for law enforcement. Oh, very cool. Pretty cool, no, right? Really yeah. Cool. <laughs> Awesome. Yep, yep. All right, cool. All right, Paul, so last, last thoughts for you. We are here at the Together Health event. I'm here at Hims. So give me a little bit of a sense about your, your take on this. It's formerly the Digital Health Collaborative. Now it's Together Health. It's bringing together all of the different players in the ecosystem and health innovation around the country. I mean, and you're, you're coming in here from Detroit. I mean, yeah. that's awesome. So, I mean, talk to me a little bit. Last thoughts about Together Health and what, what that means in terms of helping drive innovation forward in healthcare. I think it's just an amazing opportunity. I thank Stefan for his leadership, Stefan Konya from HHS. We're actually fortunate enough to have him up in Detroit last year, so that's when the relationship kind of got its start, got started. But it's really, I think, a, um, kind of an expansion of thought beyond what we're trying to do in the region of Detroit. We need best practices. We need to understand what other models are working. We also equally need to understand what's not working. Right. And so we look to develop a stronger partnership from MedHealth to the Together.Health initiative in order to really scale and expedite, but also, you know, to be able to lean on some of the best minds in the industry across the nation um, on how we can really tackle the problems of delivering better health care. All right, cool. Exciting times. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Awesome. All Thank right. Well, you. thanks so much, Paul. It's a pleasure to talk to you. I'm Jessica Damasa with WTF Health. Thanks for watching.